Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to the cloud parameters and settings in Terrigen Sky. In this video, we'll be focusing on this right side panel here that says Sky Parameters. Sky lets you use several layers of clouds for a more realistic sky. But for now, let's just leave one layer active and take a look at the basic settings. First off, Seed will set the random seed for the cloud generation giving you access to infinite variations of clouds in your sky. And often a great place to start is just to change the seed a few times until you find something you like. The next setting, Coverage, controls how much of the sky is going to be clouds and how much is empty air. A higher coverage will give a more overcast sky. A lower coverage will leave just a few spots of clouds. Density controls how solid your clouds are. A high density will give clouds that don't transmit as much light and have harder edges. A lower density will create light, fuzzy clouds. You'll find that the density also interacts with the coverage. A low density cloud will need more coverage to cover the same area of the sky. Thickness controls how tall the clouds are from top to bottom, as you can see in the cloud height diagram at the left. This setting also has a strong interaction with the coverage. An important thing to know is that because of the way Terrigen Sky generates clouds, they often don't fill the entire vertical space available. So the thickness is more of a guideline of where the clouds can be, but not a guarantee that you'll get clouds all the way to the top of that line. The final parameter is the cloud altitude, which just controls the height of the cloud base and it's pretty easy to see on the cloud height diagram. By default, Sky creates the three cloud layers in a specific height order, but that's just a starting point and you can rearrange their heights if you'd like. Along with the three cloud layers, there's also a haze layer that will create a uniform haze at whatever density and altitude you would like. Unlike the cloud layers, the haze is pretty good at filling the desired altitude band. There's also an atmospheric haze setting that will add more haze to the atmosphere without constraining it to a specific height range. I'd also like to point out the little downward facing arrow next to each cloud layer. This drop down menu gives access to all of Terrigen's preset cloud types which you can apply to any of your cloud layers and then continue to adjust as you see fit. These include high-level cirrus and cirrocumulus clouds, mid-level altocumulus and altostratocumulus, and low-level cumulus and stratocumulus clouds. Additionally, you can actually change any of the cloud layers into a haze layer if you so desire. Hopefully that gives a good overview of the cloud tools currently available in Terrigen Sky. Now go make some awesome clouds!